What's up guys, it is Twins Firecat here, and in today's video, I dropped Cold Cavern 20 times, and yeah, this this is that video. Um, I, I basically just wanted to pick miscellaneous landmarks because there's not very many other places to drop. But yeah, um, credit to Luke the Notable for the video idea, and um, yeah, let's just get into game number one. Now, game one was a pretty quick game because I hadn't really been to the area very much besides, like, once last season. So, like, I, I looted the clock tower because that's, like, the best spot to drop. But then when I mantled, I fell to my death and got 100th place. Hey, man, where's the mecha team leader? I gotta take him down. What do you mean it's not season 9 anymore? Chapter 4, season 2? There's chapters? What? Dude, so basically, oh sorry, I'm watching the Kenjutsu Crossing, um, the Kenjutsu Crossing 100 roughs because it's premiering. Anyway, usually once I'm done in Cold Cavern, I go over to Brutal Bastion because the boss will spawn and it's the same one that's at Mega City. And I usually go defeat him at Mega City in my 100 roughs that's going to come out. But anyway, I just I go and kill the boss and his henchmen and then I lose the vault and I get good guns. But I haven't won any games yet, but like so hopefully win the game. I have ten more games to win. Please tell me I'm gonna win. Hey, uh, I just wanna give Zeke a message in this game. Sled ready guff. Ah, 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 ah. Man, you already know I had to work frozen fish stick, man, cause it's, it's almost like I wore regular fish stick and then he got to the location and couldn't get out and he was like, brr, what am I doing? It feels like every time I try to fight the boss, I just get third party and die. Oh my gosh, no way. Is this finally going to be the time where I get a win with the skin? Wait a minute, you guys heard what I said in game two, didn't you? Can we just take a moment to appreciate how good my guns are in this clip? Like, there's no way I could lose with guns this good. Yeah, it turns out there was a way. This actually startled me like super bad as well. Ain't no way, am I playing with Juliet in this game? We were playing with Zeke for his 100 drops that just came out. We were playing game 100 and then he just left, so it was just me and Juliet. And she took my drop spot because it's the only good spot and she fell. Anyway, the end of this game is funny, so I'm going to show you guys that. Okay, so basically we're on Loot Island and I'm like, yo, Juliet, you want to come see this glitch? And she's, like, and she's like, oh, you fall and you don't take any damage? And I'm like, yeah, come here. So she comes over to the floor. And I'm like, all right, just stand there. And then I edit her off. So, obviously, since I'm a good teammate, I went down and revived her. So then we go back up, and I'm like, alright, fine, do you want to do it to me? And she's like, yeah. And I had a kinetic blade anyways, and a flint knock, so I probably wouldn't have died. But I'm like, okay, so let me just go here. I pretended I was going to edit myself off. I was like, wait, come over here? And she did. Um, and then I flint knocked her off, and it killed her again. And dude, I was just laughing. She was like, dude! So anyway, since the storm was coming, I had to pick her up, and there was a rift right there, so we ran away. We went over to this house, and I tried to revive her, but then I got sniped, so it was my fault we lost. These next two games were played the next morning, which as of recording, it's this morning. Hopefully the day that the video is coming out. And I played with Juliet last night, and with Zeke for game 100 of his video, like I said. Which, you can go watch that on his channel, Twin Sekai. It's the Kenjutsu Crossing 100 drops. It was a pretty good video, I watched it while editing this, so... You guys should go watch it too, there were some pretty funny moments. Also, I keep voice cracking, so don't mind that, cause my voice is gonna be deeper. Right here I went AFK for a second because Audrey had just left my room and she had an Xbox controller with no batteries on the floor, and just a bunch of post-it notes because I have a bunch for no reason. So she just took them all, was playing with them, and left them on the floor. So I was AFK picking them all up. Let's, let's see. Well, I, I come back soon. I'm, I'm picking up like, there's like probably 13 of them. 13 of the things with a bunch of post-it notes in them. Yep, here's the part where I got back because I'm not crouching anymore. Yep, then, then I started moving. Right here, I went to kill the high card boss because there's one of these at Shattered Slabs here and Mega City. So I, I didn't know that until a couple days ago. But then I got third party again. What a surprise, you know, by this magmatic Mizuki. Ain't no way. Is that the skin that Cody wears? Anyway, I was just trying to go, like, to leave Brutal Bastion, I'm pretty sure. I, di I didn't have a shotgun, which did not help. 
And then this sweaty superhero skin was able to kill me because he had a shotgun. Ice peely, ice peely, ice peely. So usually in this video, I would always want aerialist and just glide off the top of this mountain. So I'm here with my augments. I reroll. I reroll. I reroll again. I reroll again. I reroll again. And I just keep rerolling. And this would happen like every game until I got aerialist, like I got here. Some matches I wasted like 2,000 gold and didn't even get it. Okay, that was like one match. But some matches I wasted a ton of gold. I don't know why I was just sitting here. I was probably watching YouTube or listening to music. Or maybe I had to go do something. But I don't know. Polar Peely sits here. I wanted alliteration, but only the first two were alliteration. Peely versus Fishstick part two. So right here, I just kind of held my charged shotgun like for a while. So anyway, here's that. Oh boy, a bounty. Oh, there's my bounty. Oh no, I died. That's crazy. Man, if only I could go to Mega City and just third party someone while they're trying to kill the boss right now. Okay, let's see if this is finally going to be the time that I get a win with the skin. Because I, th I think it's going to be time. Alright, here's the situation. It is um, the end game. I have streamer loot, as Zeke would say in one of his older videos, because I watched them while I played these games. Anyway, it's end game. I couldn't find the guy. And I did find him. Also, y'all want to watch end game. Um, <laughs> nobody's going to get that except for like Zeke and Dad. But whatever. Um, anyway, it's like the last guy, and I'm really low. So I go in here. There was no heals. So I just decided to hide because I wasn't carrying heels on me. I rarely never carry heels and of course the one time I'm not I'm wearing the skin I can never win with and I have um, No health and it's top two So anyway, we're both building up and then somehow I don't know man I just can't hit anything because he's building he's building 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 and then he killed me and I got second place Yo, 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 what's up, bro? That rhymed, and I died. Streamer loot! Streamer loot! <laughs> So for the past few games I had been missing my drop, but in this game, I actually decided to be smart about it and get back up to the top instead of just breaking stuff, while also not wasting materials by first mantling here and then building a stair up, farther up, like that, so I could just mantle onto it. And then I did the same thing right here and didn't even have to use um, all three of my builds. And then I was able to just break in here and loot it the way that I normally would by grabbing the floor loot and then the ammo box and the two chests. I don't think I mentioned it yet. This is the only real drop spot here. <laughs> it's a little cave I would not ever recommend dropping here unless you're in like arena and just need some guns, you know, because landmarks are great in arena. Because you never really want to go to a named location. But yeah. Also, if you guys think I should do an arena 100 drop soon, per perhaps next season? But I don't know. Just tell me in the comments if you think that would be a good idea. So, yeah. Um, let's get to the part where I died. Or if anything interesting happened, that, and then I, whatever. Yo, go watch Harold releasing tomorrow, April 9th, on Miracle Studios channel, made by Zeke. You guys won't believe it, but game 19 is labeled appropriately. I think the fact that I almost killed this guy has got to count for something, right? And here we are, game 20. I thought I was going to enjoy this 20 drops more than I actually did, to be honest. Like, it was fun to make. I thought that the location I was dropping in was bigger. I didn't realize it was basically just the clock tower and that's it. So, I think that if they added maybe, like, a little piece of another tilted building in one area that kind of had nothing, this area would be more worth it to go to. It would be, like... It, like kind of like how Tilted was all icy at the beginning of chapter 3, so I don't know, it could have been cool. 
Anyway, guys, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.